So finding out good applications that are not on the Play Store but are still worth downloading seems to be a pretty difficult task. This video alone took me more than 10 hours to complete. And with that said, in today's video, we're talking about 10 Android applications that are not on the Play Store, but you should definitely try them out because they enhance your experience of Android some way or the other. If that sounds interesting, before we get started, please drop a like. It would mean the world to me. Subscribe to the channel. Press the bell icon. This channel has been underrated for a long, long time, and I think it's time to change that. With that said, here are 10 Android applications that are not on the Play Store, but are ones that you should definitely try out. With that said, with that said, let's let's get started. Roll the intro. Alright guys, so the first application on the list goes by the name of Aurora Store and basically this is a free open source client for the Google Play Store. Now, why would you use something like this over the Google Play Store? Well, number one, it looks really good. You won't feel like you're using some third party, not good looking app UI. Number two, there's an anonymous mode which means you can log in and download apps without using your personal Google accounts. And the most important feature which is spoofing, this allows you to spoof your device and your location, allowing you to download apps restricted just to certain phone models as well as apps restricted in certain regions. This is really really cool and I've never seen something like this happen on any other application. You've also got Exodus privacy which basically shows you trackers hidden inside an application and a full featured download manager with parallel and sequential download support. All in all if you need a alternative for the Google Play Store this is a free application open source no ads no BS pure Android material design experience so definitely check it out. Alright guys, next up we have Gcam, obviously standing for Google Camera and I already spoke about this application in my recent, you know, camera apps video. But honestly, if you own an Android device which is a non-pixel device and you're trying to improve your camera, whether it is the stock camera or your general photography skills, I think using Google Camera is something that you guys should definitely do. Now to download this, the process is different for every single Android device, but I will drop certain links in the description below so you guys can check it out how to do it on your Yours. But all in all, this is a great camera app that enables you to use Google's software and you know Google's optimization after you click the shutter button and get that really nice pixel look. Definitely check it out. Link will be in the description below. All right, guys. Next up, we've got an app called Fennec for F Droid, which is basically a really cool browser that supports current as well as anticipated web standards. Now, the best part about this application is that there are no ads. It has tracking protection that blocks over 2,000 online trackers, so no one is going to be tracked tracking your activity. You've got private mode, dark theme, collection of tabs. You've also got picture in picture mode, which is based within the application. And in case you guys want to know where this app is from, it's basically based on the latest Firefox release, which is codenamed Phoenix. And it has proprietary bits and telemetry removed, but still connects to various Mozilla as well as Google services that can track users. Honestly, again, if you need a browser that is open source, does a lot of stuff, but doesn't really track you and also has no ads, this application is really something that you you guys should check out so link below definitely give it a try all right so if fennec is not the browser that you want to use bromite is going to be the browser that you'll definitely use now bromite is basically based on google chrome an open source client of google chrome with increased ad blocking and enhanced privacy so the entire idea behind bromite is that your browsing data should be yours alone and nobody else's so the main goal is to provide a no clutter browsing experience without privacy invasive features along with the addition of a fast ad blocking engine so you will not really see a lot of ads that you would recognize if you're using a mainstream browsing application like Chrome and it's also super light on your Android device doesn't take up a lot of space so definitely check it out link in the description below. Alright guys next up we've got an app called Monochromatic and just like the name suggests this enables the inbuilt black and white mode or the grayscale mode on all of our Android devices. Now yes to use this application after installing it you do have to pass an ADB command but the information that the app gives you on how to do that is super simple and once you do that and follow I'll drop links below this is basically what your Android device is gonna look like it's gonna be completely black and white to provide let's say a better blue light filtered screen without the use of an overlay screen and with the latest update you can still click pictures in color and keep your main phones display black and white which is really really cool it's not gonna be intrusive as well so all your apps are black and white and I don't know you could definitely check this out for reducing your phone usage or just making it a little bit 
bit easier on your eyes. So yeah, be sure to check it out. All right, next up we've got pin, which is spelled in a really fun way. It's P, then an exclamation point, and then an N. But moving on, just like the app suggests, this is a minimalistic note-taking app utilizing your phone's notification area. So whenever you open the app, this pop-up overlay comes on your home screen where you can type everything, which of course means like and subscribe and make this video viral. But once that is done, you can you know click on the pin icon. This is gonna pin whatever you've written onto your notification bar. You can select the time that it's gonna be there. And yeah, it's a really cool way to write down notes if you are a person that keeps forgetting things. So definitely check it out. All right, next up, we've got private location. This is a simple app to set your location to anywhere in the world and improve your general phone's privacy. Not only does this help other corporations and applications not really track your location and give you ads catered to that, but it also helps you fake and spoof both your GPS as well as your network location on your phone. Now, many applications on our phones won't really work without location permissions and they can make repeated and unnecessary requests in the background throughout the day. Setting your location using this application to any place in the world will help you mitigate that and protect your privacy. You can also set up locations as in a list of favorites. So, you know, you can basically jump from New York one day to India the other day. It's really cool. Definitely check it out. All right, guys, next up, we've got Pulse Music, which is an offline music player with modern UI and powerful features. Now, this has to be one of the better offline music players I've seen. And the fact that it is so well built, and I mean the UI and the way it looks, the dark mode, uh, the icons, the saturation, the colors, everything just looks really, really good. Of course, it's based on material design. And you know, you have a lot of really cool features on this application. You can run it at startup, you can pair it with Bluetooth devices, you have a built-in equalizer. And of course, you have your normal offline music player stuff, albums now playing, lists and all that. It's really cool. And it's again, open source because it's from F-Droid. Definitely check it out for a cool, clutter-free, ad-free offline music player player. All right, guys, next up, we've got Quick Tiles, which is an Android quick setting styles. Now, there are a lot of options that you and I would love to have on our notification tray. Whenever we use one of these modern devices, customization on this has increased a bit, but the amount that this application lets you add stuff to your notification tray, to your quick setting style is insane. You've got media control, volume panel, you can make a call, take a photo, open settings, open languages, open a VPN, force the rotation, lock the screen, the list goes on and on. The app application literally is a plethora of settings that you can turn on and off with a slider. Once you do that, you'll get the option to add them to your quick tray as you guys can see on the screen right now. And honestly, it'll just make your life that much more easier. So yeah, definitely check it out. All right, guys, last but definitely not the least, we've got taskbar, which is a start menu that you can use to access different applications. Now, as the name suggests, this literally lets you have a Windows based taskbar, which will show your recently used apps, a fully working app drawer in the form of a tray that you can minimize as well as open on top of any application whenever you are. I think this is a much better way to increase productivity, to jump between applications and overall get stuff done quicker on your phone. And once again, it has no ads. There are a lot of customization settings as well, which was really surprising. You can add icon packs uh, to the recent apps as well as you know the applications that the taskbar shows. You can turn it on and off. There's a desktop mode and a freeform mode that you do need, again, ADB commands to make fully use of it. But honestly, even the application directly out of the box works really well. And I think this is my favorite one out of the list. So you can say I saved the best for last. Definitely check it out. Link below. All right. So that was it. That was the video. If you guys did like it, feel free to drop a like. Subscribe to the channel, as I said before. And yeah, let me know in the comments below which was your favorite Android app that's not on the Play Store, but that is a good Android app regardless. And uh, yeah, this is Anbuff signing out. I'll catch you guys next time with a fresh new video soon. I hope all of you stay safe and uh, peace out.